Hey everyone, welcome back to the series on mastering coding patterns. In this series, our aim is to learn all the coding patterns that can help us ace technical interviews and quickly and easily solve our data structures questions. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing. And now let's jump towards today's question. So today we are going to solve question number 15, which is three sum of lead code. And what this question is asking us, uh, we have been given an integer array called nums in this question and our aim is to return all the distinct triplets from this array that sums to zero okay what this means is that we have to find out the pair of three integers distinct integers not the similar ones that can when we sum up them uh, the answer should be zero okay okay so now how we are going to solve it we are going to solve this question using two pointers approach now first of all if you can uh, if you look at this array you will find out that okay there are negative numbers there's zero there are positive numbers so what we have to do we have to first of all sort this array out so that we can easily uh, find the triplets and those integers which sum up to zero for two pointer approach uh, i uh, i hope by now uh, we have already solved uh, so many questions so you have this kind of built-in intuition okay now we have to first sort uh, array because two pointers approach generally not always but generally prefers uh, a sorted array okay so for this question uh, in order to solve it we have to first uh, sort it so that's why what uh, i am doing i am bringing this this array so now uh, this array is the sorted version of this one so basically this array is generated from this one but if you if you compare both of them you will find out that this one is the sorted one where uh, negative numbers are coming before zero and then uh, afterwards uh, zero is followed by positive numbers okay now uh, since we do not require this array anymore so let's remove this one okay and now let's bring it here okay so we now what we are going to do now we are going to introduce our pointers as well so oops let's bring them here so first of all we have this i so this i will be used for the main traversal part then we have this left and here our right will be assigned so left will start right after i whenever i will move forward left will move one step forward then i and here we have right at the very end okay now how we are going to traverse and what what kind of logic will be applied let's see so first of all we will start from i from the very zero but we will uh, just uh, we will just traverse till the uh, till before last two elements okay why because we want to give uh, enough space so that left and right can be applied to the uh, to, to this zero element okay to this point now this uh, this was the first condition the second condition will be that um, whenever uh, we will be traversing over let's say this i or any other element what our aim will be our aim will be to find out two other elements uh, on left and right like so when i sum up this left and right whatever number will come up when this number will be summed with this i the final result should be zero which means like i plus left plus right should be equal to zero okay so for example like here we have minus four so our aim is to find out a pair of left and right that when we sum uh, these two uh, like the elements that these two pointers are pointing towards the sum should be four because four minus four will be equal to zero which we require okay now when uh, we will f uh, find out a total okay of these three less than zero what we will do we will simply move left one step forward if we will find a total greater than zero what we will do we will move right backwards but let's say if uh, when traversing we find out that a pair of i plus left plus right equals to zero then what we will do in order to uh, skip like uh, duplicates we will check whether the element uh, next to left is equal to left or not if it will be uh, uh, equal what we'll do we will simply skip and move forward 
same thing will be applied to write we will see if let's say these three uh, uh, these three pointers are pointing towards such elements that equals to the sum zero what we will do we will check whether the right uh, the right uh, the, the the element that the right is pointing towards and the element before right are same or not if both of the elements will be same what we will do we will skip and move one step forward okay now what uh, th that was the condition but let's say if uh, the element next to left is not similar to the element left is pointing towards and the element uh, before right is also distinct so what we will do and the and the sum is zero so what we will do whenever we will find such kind of situation we will move left one step forward towards right and we will uh, move right one step backwards cool uh, so that was it there's just one uh, one final condition which is that uh, our aim is to find distinct elements and that's why whenever we will find a situation where uh, the element before i is same as i so we will skip that element and we will move one step forward so we will move i one step forward okay these are some conditions why i am telling you these conditions before even uh, showing you i am going to show you but uh, so that you can start to develop uh, the code logic in your mind just by listening to it because when you will uh, get such kind of questions in your interview i i want you to build such kind of intuition of uh, a self talk so that you can understand okay this is these this condition should be applied okay this is how things will work okay this was the first step now i hope like okay uh, some at least some sort of sense is now building in your mind so now we are going to look at how the traversal and how the logic will be applied once we will be done with uh, the, with the visualization then i'll take uh, i'll also give you the opportunity to go and try to uh, code on your own if you and then come again to this video and then compare your code with mines i hope like uh, by now you will be able to uh, thanks to the visualization and understanding you will be able to code by yourself if you if let's say let's say god forbid if you are still not yet able to solve it no worries at least you tried and that's the main part slowly uh, with the passage of time as you practice you will start to develop intu intuitions of solving such kind of questions and hopefully the, uh, this intuition will help you in acing your technical interviews as well cool now let's start the uh, the visual understanding part okay so first of all we are here at ith position which is zero position uh, zero index position and here we have minus four as we said like now our aim is to find out two numbers using left and right uh, which give uh, when when we sum up those two numbers uh, we will give uh, we will get this four okay because eventually this four uh, when uh, when we will minus it with four what it, wh what will happen we will uh, finally get zero which is our aim okay so let's uh, see whether such kind of two elements are present or not in this array so left is pointing towards minus one and right is pointing towards two so two minus one is one okay now uh, let me remove this four here and so eventually using left and right sum we got one and here is minus four so um minus four minus one will give us what here is plus three okay so minus four and plus one is minus three okay two minus one uh, will give us one and we have this minus four and by summing these by adding these three elements what we got minus three now minus three is not zero uh, so what we will do we will simply check whether we are getting a number less than zero the total is less than zero or more or equal so here we have less than zero minus three is less than zero so what we will do we will simply move left one step forward now let's remove this part and now what we will look uh, we will see okay now we have minus four minus one and two again the same thing will happen two minus one will give us one i am using plus and here we have minus four so what will happen minus three again 
number less than zero so what we will do we will move left one step forward now try to uh, try to uh, use a notepad and pen along with this question and try to solve it on your own as well using this kind of visualization so that uh, it helps you uh, understanding okay how the the things are happening so now we have uh, left zero right two and four so what will happen let's say uh, minus four plus zero plus two so what will happen the final result will be minus two okay 2 plus 0 will 2 and minus 4 plus 2 will give us minus 2 minus 2 is again not 0 but less than 0 so what we will do we will simply move left one step forward simply remove this thing now again check minus 4 1 and 2 2 plus 1 3 so 3 minus 4 will give us minus 1 okay so now what will happen minus one is again less than zero so what we will do we will move left one step forward now when this left and right will collide what will happen we will simply change this i to the next element okay when we will do this uh, this change what we will look first we will check whether we are getting a duplicate or not so yes we are not getting a duplicate because minus four and minus one are distinct okay let's say let's say if we were getting a duplicate let's say here in this position so what would have happened uh, we are getting here minus one and here is minus one the previous element was the same so what we would have done we would have simply jumped towards the zero and ignore skip this duplicate okay but right now we are here so here we we are at minus one uh, the one th index the first index now uh, we will uh, use left right after i and right will start from the very end now what we will do we will do the same thing which we did with minus four so um, here is minus one so what we need we need two numbers that when we add these two numbers the the final uh, goal the final answer should be one so that this one one uh, when we add this one with minus one the uh, the final uh, like the the very final result should be zero which is our aim if we will get zero uh, amazing thing if not then we'll see what will happen okay so let's come here so here we have minus one now left is pointing towards minus one and right is pointing towards two okay so what will happen either here i am using plus uh, i'm not writing plus here because minus will simply remove it and minus one minus one is minus two and plus two now there's this amazing thing that we have finally got our zero okay now we have found our zero so what we will do we will first of all come here and we will uh, create this array and the final and here we will give minus one comma minus one comma two okay two so this is first pair that we have got okay now what we will do we will ch check after doing this part we will check whether th the element next to left is same as left or not if it is not fine if let's say if was similar what would have happened we would have simply uh, skipped that element and moved towards that next element um, then after checking this part yes these are distinct okay now we will check here on right whether the element before right is similar or not if it is same as right then we will then what we would have done we would have skipped it and move right backwards now uh, these two elements are also distinct fine so what we'll do uh, finally we will move left one step forward and right one step backwards here okay and then what we will do we will again check so uh, minus one zero one are these three uh, numbers giving us uh, zero yes minus one plus zero and then minus one because plus will be removed with minus and um, here we have plus oops sorry so um, here we have minus one plus zero and this plus one so one plus zero is one and plus one minus one will give us eventually zero which is our aim to find okay we have found out another 
another answer so let's write these number down minus one then comma zero comma one cool so uh, here we have found out these two uh, answers now what we will do we will simply come here we will remove uh, this part and now what we will do we uh, we will simply um, let's say um, move this left one step forward and this uh, when when we will do this uh, mo moving the, this part let's say or right one step so what will happen that eventually um, uh, like left will be greater than right so what will happen we will simply move this high one step forward because they will like collide or get bigger so if left gets equal or greater than uh, right so what will happen our loop will break and this i will move one step forward now remember i uh, i told you that whenever i will move one step forward what we will do we will check the element previous than i if that element will be similar what we will do we will simply skip it and move one step forward why because our aim is to skip duplicates we want distinct elements okay now i am removing this part and now again we will start with this uh, there's i which is pointing towards zero left will start right uh, right after i and right will uh, start just from the very end now what we will do we will check whether um, whether the sum of these three elements is equal to zero or not so what we will do zero plus one plus two so two plus one is three now three plus zero is three so no the final sum is not equal to zero so what we will do we will simply um, move uh, we will simply check the final result is greater than zero less than zero or equal to zero so final result is greater than zero if it is greater than zero what we will do we will simply move this right backwards they are again colliding so what we will do we would have done like move one step forward but now uh, we initially we said like we will uh, leave these two spaces okay so our loop will end and this is going to be our final result okay so uh, these two uh, these two arrays will be our final result which means like uh, these two arrays contain uh, distinct elements distinct triplets th that uh, when they are add up they will equal to zero okay which was our aim cool i hope by now you at least have a good understanding of how this question will move forward and how the code logic will be applied using this visual understanding now what we are going to do we are going to solve the question using the coding part so let's move towards the question so here we are on lead code here the question number is 15 the name is threesome and the question uh, difficulty level is medium so now we are stepping one step forward and um, by now we were solving uh, easy questions like we have solved quite many easy questions so i thought why not to uh, now jump towards medium part so yesterday we saw we solved uh, a medium question and now we are solving this medium question as well okay and here if you scroll down a little bit you will find the very same example that we saw in the visualization and now let's uh, let's see how it will be solved using uh, like uh, via code so um, let's start with first sorting our array so if you look at this array you will find that uh, the array is not sorted okay and now uh, using nums dot sort we are going to sort we are going to solve it and then um, i am um, defining result so result is going to be an empty array because eventually our our goal is to fill this array with sub arrays of triplets okay so now come here and then we are going to use for loop so for i in range length nums minus two okay why minus two uh, just like in the visualization we left the last two elements okay for uh, for for uh, for giving enough space for left and right cool 
so for i uh, in range length of nums minus 2 afterwards we are going to look at the duplicates and we are going to check whether we have uh, we are finding a duplicate or not so if i is greater than 0 and nums i equal equals nums i minus 1 okay which means that uh, if i let's say 0 uh, here let's say there was minus 1 so if i is equal equals to the very previous element uh, okay which is nums i minus 1 let's say here minus 1 so what would have happened we would have uh, skipped this element and moved to the next one so here yeah, i am typing continue okay now after this check what we are going to do we are going to initialize our left so left will be i plus one and right is going to be length of nums minus one okay right will start from the very last index and i plus one means like uh, let's say i if i is zero so left will be uh, left uh, will be the very next element after i okay if i will be uh, at point at index one so left will be at index two uh, the very next element of i now uh, now what we are going to do we are going to initialize our while loop so while left is less than right what we are going to do we are first of all going to calculate the total so how we are going to calculate total so nums i plus nums left plus nums right okay now at this point we are adding these three elements and then we are going to look whether the total is equal to zero greater than zero or less than zero cool so till here the total uh, after finding the total we are going to check um, if total is is equal equals zero so what we are going to do we are first going to fill our result array so now we are going to type nums i comma nums left nums right okay so what will happen um, um yes so what will happen this uh, these three triplets uh, will be formed into an array and th that array will be appended to result okay now after uh, after uh, filling the result what we are going to do we are going to check uh, uh, for the uh, duplicates so while left is greater than right and nums left is equal equals nums left plus one so if both elements are equal for example if this is left and the very next element of left is also let's say zero so what will happen we are going to skip the initial element and we are going to move towards the next one and we will keep repeating that unless the the element next to left is distinct is not uh, same as left now we are going to do the same with right as well so left is less than right and nums right equal equals nums right minus one okay here we are not going to use plus one but minus one why because right uh, will be at this very last index so what we are going to look at we are going to look at the element pre uh, prior to right if both are both are same so what we will do we will simply move skip the initial element and move right one step backwards okay let's say uh, at both left and right positions like the next elements are um, um, are distinct so what we will do we are simply going to uh, move left one step forward and right one step backward okay elif 
Ali. Let's say the total is not equal to zero. So we have this these two choices total less than zero. So if the total is less than zero, so what we are going to do, we are simply going to move left one step forward, which we saw in the visualization. Else, uh, let's say total is greater than zero. So what we will do, we will simply move right one step backward. Okay, and that's it. So now what we are going to do, we are going to return our result this is going to be the final one okay yep so now click on run and our initial test cases got accepted now click on submit and voila our, all the test cases got accepted awesome so that was it uh, i hope like uh, this quick and um, easy uh, uh, explanation of three sum question using two point approach uh, uh, like was understandable for you if you still face any concern if you still face any difficulty in understanding how the how the solution uh, like was formed how things are working and uh, please feel free to reach out please uh, mention me in the comments and mention your concern i would love to help you out in understanding this question um, thank you so much for for your time for watching this video if you haven't subscribed yet please do consider subscribing and thank you so much i'll see you tomorrow with a new question and a new video till then keep practicing happy learning take care bye